stock suffered their worst week since February 2016. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade, and this is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, May 1st, 2016. On Friday, all major markets in negative territory with small caps down the most, down almost a full percent. Banks uh, not down as much as everybody else, not confirming the big drop. However, you go down further, gold up nearly 2%, silver up over 1%, VIX higher by 3.4% on the ETF VIX. And here we are looking at the S&P 500. Sure enough, there's the breakdown. Now, this is going to be a warning video, and I want to explain to you why it's a warning. Furthermore, sometime near the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the position or the trade that I put on right at the end of the day on Friday. Here's the skinny here on the S&P 500 ETF. You remember me saying big bearish divergence here on the MACD. We have two ticks on the histogram to the negative side, negative side with lines now starting to dip lower than the zero line on the MACD. Anyway, we have this rising wedge on price action with the drop down below this trend line. Now, I say this often, but in your bottom right-hand corner, go down there, click full screen, and make sure you, you set this to high definition and watch this in all its glory. Big rising wedge breakdown, but not much of a breakdown. It rallies back up, but that what was acting as support, now acting as resistance. Big trend line coming across, and then drop, 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 drop Friday, another drop. But we get a hammer with huge volume. Nice, nice volume on the hammer. A lot of upside resistance. We got a number of levels here of resistance, plus the 20-day moving average, which is now tilting to the downside that could act as resistance the question is will this just be a bull pullback with a hammer with an explosion back to the upside it certainly could do that we need more information to be able to find out what we can expect the diamonds this is the dow rising wedge bearish divergence sub-zero with negative histogram ticks and drop a mini pop, drop, 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 a hammer time. We got a hammer here, but below an area of resistance here, resistance here, we're below the 20 day moving average. NASDAQ, down, 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 below all major moving averages, huge volume on the hammer. Now this volume that we're seeing here in the markets on a Friday is significant. Usually Friday's volume, is not so grand, not so big, but to see this level of volume on a Friday is significant. Small caps, this is huge, guys. Big rising wedge, bearish divergence on that MACD. We're still above the zero line, but negative histogram ticks. Now we have a close below a support a level, but still above the 200-day moving average and the 20-day moving average in a support line. But this is bad, bad news for small cap stocks, the Russell's 2000 banks. Dropping here, but did not drop as much as the regular markets on Friday. Did not happen, but we still have a bearish divergence, negative histogram ticks, but we're quite a ways away from the zero line. Anyway, but we're tra their trajectory is heading southbound. Financials, financials, financials. This ETF on financials. Let me get rid of this, blow this up. Here, you can see this doji right here above the 200 day moving average, above the 20 day moving average, the 50 and 100. It's a big rising wedge, a pullback with a doji. Question is, what's happening on the MACD? If I bring this MACD, I'm using TradingView, by the way, tradingview.com. Bearish divergence, negative histogram ticks, but we're not down to the zero line, not yet. And 
I want to go back to the spider, but this time what I want to do here is look at the weekly charts on these guys, okay? Now, the weekly charts here, we had this extended run to the upside, up, 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 up. This trend line, resistance, 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 resistance. We hit resistance. Now we're dropping. I'm going to move this arrow to this area now. I'm still saying that look for this thing to drop. What is very interesting to me is we got a close below this trend line, the big blue one. Resistance, resistance, resistance. We broke resistance, but we immediately come back inside. Now, normally that's called the death hook. I'm not going to hear that anywhere else. I've been trading 18 years in the markets. It's something that I have coined and we use in our teaching in our mentor program. But this could be very, very bad for the markets. The diamonds weekly chart. Big symmetrical triangle. Breakout. But we're starting to drop. I and we got a down arrow. The question is, will we get down below this trend line? Very, we have some support. It needs to hold that support or the market's going to get bearish and very quickly. NASDAQ, we were up, 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 up. Resistance, resistance. I said sell and crash. As far as the NASDAQ is concerned, we close below 20 week moving average. Big, big candlestick on nice tick higher on volume. This dude has a lot of downside potential here. Small caps, resistance, resistance, and we broke that resistance. We hit our head at this resistance. Support, support, support resistance now we're caught up between these two lines now we have what's called a bearish harami reversal pattern i'm calling a sell now i see this going down especially if we break down below this trend line and i think it has a decent chance of doing so the bank's weekly chart this is a big one guys let's go back in time you can see down here, this is 2012, 2012. This is November 2012. We go higher right here. 2015, this is January 2015. Found support here, August 2015, last summer. We broke it with vengeance. Down, 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 down. Look at this. Down here, we got a bearish pennant. And you can go to the chart school to learn about these. Drop, bearish pennant. Crash, breaking support, crash, 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 hammer time. Up, 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 bear pullback, oh, and it starts to drop. Then we rally higher through this area of resistance. We had a point here, resistance and resistance. And I'm going to actually bring that down just to here. And, uh, and then boom, to the upside, we smash our head to this le level of resistance. And here we are. I'm calling a sell here into this area of resistance to the downside on the weekly chart. Financials. Down, 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 down. We rally, rally, rally. We hit our head, chumming around, chumming around. And boom, I threw this resistance line. So that one I could get rid of now. And I, I think we're going to fail even hitting this line up here. I think it's going to drop. We're showing a lot of weakness here question is is that is that going to happen so we're watching this very very closely and I want to now show you US dollar this is the daily chart on the US dollar US dollar had a nasty 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 let me see here let's make sure we are Okay, there's our drop. Last couple sessions down, down, down. U.S. dollar, but look where we stop right here. Last time we were at this level, okay. The U.S. dollar. Last time we were down here at this level, it visited this level uh, last June 2015. 
Last time we had a close lower than this level. Puts us um, uh, almost a year ago to the date. I mean, the last time we were this low puts us May 2015. And that is where we're at right now on the U.S. dollar. Crude oil, check this out. Down, down, down. We're in this uptrend. We're above moving averages now. Call to buy here, buy here, buy here. At one point today, we were down below this. I could be a little premature on this sell um, signal that I have because we closed above that trend line. Let me double check something here. I'm going to go to a line chart. Then I'm going to go back to my candlestick chart. I mean, we're closed right on it. I mean, that thing is spot on. Um, I might be a little premature here. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with this line here on crude oil uh, because that could be a support area up here and it could base sideways and then pop again. But I'm going to leave that because I'm, I'm, I'd be more apt to be bearish on this than bullish due to being at a resistance area. Gold weekly, I mean, look at this, uh, or daily rather, daily. Look at this, boom, to the upside. I, I mean, gold is on fire, fire, fire. It's just looking very, very strong. I think that with the volume coming in, we could only, and look at the trajectory of this. This dude could just keep going up. Matter of fact, I'm in the process of buying up gold as we speak. Silver, boom, to the upside. Uh, it's stalled here. I think if I could get a little pullback in the markets, look for more buying opportunities on gold and silver. If I go to the weekly charts, this here, silver weekly, look at this. Boom, just a huge rally here. Me and I so called it down here. Should have started buying my gold and silver down here in these areas, and they it's just off to the races on the weekly chart. Um, gold weekly chart, uh, we're at resistance area. See this resistance? We're nearing that right now. That's why I have my little flag here. I think I put the flag now, hmm. but that's something to watch out for. Now, one thing on the spiders, I'm gonna go back to the spiders, go to the monthly chart. Now, this is important that we look at the monthly. I'm gonna share with you why I did what I did in my trading. I was flat, flat, flat until Friday. End of day, I went ahead and put on a, a decent sized position to the short side because of what I'm seeing here in the month because the month of April is over and it closed below a major trend line. Resistance, resistance, resistance. We close below it. This shooting star. Up, up, hammer. Tweezer bottom. Rally. Shooting star. Close below this area. I'm looking for now downside movement to the monthly chart. Diamonds. I did not. You'll see it went up and closed above this trend line. That's more bullish than it is bearish. NASDAQ was at a support line, it rallied, but then this month we made a higher high, but we closed below the midpoint and the 20 month moving average closing near this. If we close, if we start to drop below this area of support, I'm gonna be looking at some significant short positions in the market. Small caps close below a trend line. Resistance, resistance, we were way high and then we started dropping, we closed. This is a sell signal. Small caps are looking to drop. I am short small caps, to, and, and just partially short in the small cap sector right now, looking for downside opportunity going into next week. And I think initially next week, we might see an initial pop, and that will give me more opportunities to look for some more shorting positions if we do get that. But I'm telling you, warning guys, this market is teetering on very bad things on the month. Look at this. Up, up, up. And then we drop. We come up. This is a shoulder, head and shoulder. This is the neckline coming across that has been broken. Gang, this market is broken. I'm looking for 2016 to be bearish, bearish, bearish. We, will, we should not be at these levels by the end of 
2016. I think this is going to be a nasty little summer we're going into. Make sure you share this video. There's a lot of information I'm sharing here. A lot of you guys are trading oil. A lot of you guys are trading uh, gold and silver. Or you're trading the stocks like Amazon Friday just had a killer update. A lot of tech plays out there perhaps if the markets start to go bullish going into next week however be looking to protect yourself in the markets we have a mentorship coming up in vegas um, you guys for the most part too late for signing up for that and i'm going to be we're going to be teaching meerkat and myself teaching them how how to trade these markets to the bear side and make a ton of money markets drop 66 percent faster than they rise a lot of money to be made on the bear side of the markets you need to know how to navigate those waters and that's what we teach and we teach quite well if you like our daily videos and you like what we show you and you dig it like the video Share it. Catch you guys later.